Hooked up. The thing I love most about my business is that uh, I feel that we're able to produce a product that gives people pleasure. My name is Simon Marion. I'm the president and owner of Samaki Smoked Fish Company in Port Jervis, New York. You can tell when a smoked salmon is very fresh. You can just taste that so easily when you, you know, when you take it out and you put it on the plate. That's, you know, really the bottom line. That's what we're trying to do, because without that, we don't have any business. where the production line starts. And we take the fillets and we trim off any superfluous fat or any bones and pull any bones that may be left in the fillet. And then you'll see there, that's a skinning machine. And that takes the skin off. And then this machine is just a circular knife which pulls that dark meat off the fillet. And the dark meat tastes okay, but it just doesn't look so good. So we try to remove it before we slice it. And then from there, the fillets go onto this conveyor belt where they're fed into a slicing machine. And what happens is the fillet moves about a millimeter at a time and then stops. And then a slice is made. And then the knife will retract. The fillet will move another millimeter forward, do another slice, and so on until the entire fillet is sliced. And then it comes out on the other side on a gold board ready for packaging. Smoked salmon is by far and away the biggest item that we do because that is really the most popular smoked fish in America today. I started smoking fish when I was probably in my 30s in Kenya in East Africa. And we used to supply all the safari lodges in Kenya. I've been smoking fish for really close to a little over 30 years now. My name is Jason Marion and I was born in Nairobi, Kenya. And in 1983 I moved to New York State with my parents where they began this smoked fish business. So basically what happens is, I'll show you, um, fish will come in here, it's filleted. Okay, then we lay out these trays and we lay each fillet into these these plastic trays and we dry salt them. Okay, and then the, the fish will cure overnight in this cooler. These two racks uh, is an Irish organic product, uh, which is probably the, the best product we're making today. And it has a much more earthy flavor, is basically the best way I can describe it. Now this Irish filet has uh, quite a nice fat line that runs through. Uh, you see these white lines here. And that's where a lot of the flavor comes from, a lot of the oils that give the smoked salmon its, its taste, which is sold to a lot of delis like Russ and Daughters and um, Agatha and Valentina and places like that where they, it'll go to a, a hand carving station where someone will actually hand slice it. Um, and what happens is the fish will get washed in that sink and then they're loaded on these racks to dry. And then the racks, just like this, get wheeled into our, our brick oven smokers. By and large, Atlantic salmon as a species has a good fat content in it and that's primarily the only salmon species that we use. We get it from Norway, the Faroe Islands, we get it from Scotland. Um, we use organic salmon that we get from Ireland, that we get from two farms in Ireland. There's some salmon that comes in here that comes out of Canada. The water where the fish is grown, um, it, it does make a big difference to the end taste of the, of the salmon. We are a premium quality smokehouse. I mean, when I say we're a boutique smokehouse, we really are like an artisan. You know, we do, we do an item that is handcrafted, we spend a lot of time with it. The processes that we use, we've spent a lot of time basically honing them, but we feel that by being a smaller company, we can 
produce a better quality smoked salmon and in fact other smoked fish that we do too. So this is the this is the sawdust we use. Okay. This is a bit of a secret. It's mostly oak, but there are a couple other hardwoods in there. Um, and this is where the flavor comes from. And basically, you know, we'll just we'll just pull the embers towards the, the front of the stove. And we just load it up and, and that'll smolder like that for eight to twelve hours. It doesn't take much. The, the brick oven kilns that we use, the, the, the way the smoke is administered and delivered over the fish is a design that is peculiar to us. You want to smoke it to the point where, you know, it's, it's, it's about 10 degrees before that point where the salmon will start to flake. Because if it starts to flake, you can't slice it anymore. So it's fed through here, okay? And this is the chamber. And these controls just regulate temperature. And smoked salmon is, cold smoked salmon is smoked um, between 70 and 80 degrees. And that's critical. And basically it's very simple. The smoke is drawn in. We have eight fans on the wall that basically swish the smoke around over the fillets. And then there's an exhaust fan that pulls it up through the chimney. And you'll see that this, this rack has been in since about 7 a.m. And it's been in there for about five hours now. And you know when it's ready when the salmon starts to sweat a little bit. And what will happen is a pellicle will form, which is the hard outer crust. And once that forms, then you'll get these little perspiration dots sweating. The salmon will actually sweat, and that's when you know it's done. But each of these, we have three of these now, and each of them will do about 1,000 pounds a day. I mean, to us it's a lot, you know, but you know, some of the some of the big boys do five million pounds a year, you know, and we probably do three hundred thousand. Some fish are smokier than others. And um, you know, that is just controlled by really the amount of smoke and the length of time that the fish stay in the smoker. So we think that it gives the fish a much better flavor than the mechanical kilns now, which tend to force the smoke into the fish over a very short period of time. And although it, in terms of efficiency it's more efficient, the taste suffers. It doesn't yield the same sort of taste. You know, we have a very mild, smoky flavor, and it basically comes from the, the design of the, of the kiln. I and mean, put it like this, there, there are customers that we sell right now that do not buy smoked salmon. I mean, they only buy smoked salmon from very few people. And we feel lucky to be able, you know, to be counted as one of their customers. People should try our product because it's all natural. And I can't stress that enough. You know, it's, um, salmon is incredibly good for you. And we process, process it in a way which is, um, you know, completely chemical or preservative free. You know, I had a stepmother once who said to me, I hope you don't get rich, I just want you to work hard. And that was kind of, I always thought at the time that that was like a dumb thing to say, but really it's probably not, because when you keep busy doing something, then, you know, it keeps you happy too. Yeah, here's one sticking up right here. When you can see, there's two here, two here, two there. The thing that I think that makes it such a fascinating creature is how hard it is to grow, how deep they are, and the flavor and the taste of the animal. This here is a gooey duck, uh, farm-raised gooey duck on Taylor Shellfish uh, Stretch Island Farm. The